welcome to my latest video. This will be a short one today. So today's video is going to be about, as the title says, my very first Lush press box. Now this means a lot to me, not just because I have some fantastic products that have been sent to me for free, freebies are always good, but also because of the journey I feel I have taken as a person to get to this stage. When I first started buying Lush, I never imagined three years later the amount of money, the amount of time, the amount of effort that I have put into the company. I did it off my own back because of my passion for the company and my passion for veganism and the fact that they advocate vegan veganism better than most other companies, especially high street companies that I have ever come across. So getting to the stage where the company themselves recognize my work and have sent me this Lush box is a complete honor and I'm so thrilled to have this in front of me. So I want to say first of all, thank you so much to Hannah from Lush who sent me this absolutely magnificent box that I can't stop looking at below me. When it arrived in the post on Thursday, I did a song and dance about it and it really, really cheered me up. I have not opened the box, so I don't know what's inside of it. I promised you guys that I would do this video without looking inside. So aside from the fact that little stickers kind of come off, I have not actually looked inside this box. So I'm going to open it with you guys and we're going to enjoy this adventure together. I am going to savour and use these products. <sighs> so let's just dive in. I want, I want to open this. You guys have made me wait for days now. This has been sitting in my room for days and I need to get my greedy mitts on what is inside. So the first thing I love about the Lush Press boxes, and these boxes I believe are also given to employees, is the fact that they are slightly different than the usual brown box that comes in the post that I have a million of in my room. Uh, this one is really pretty. Let's have a look. So as you can see straight up, this box is not your typical brown box. It is precious, it is pretty, it is wonderful. And I, I don't really know why all Lush boxes don't come like this because it would just cheer you up even more. So now is the moment I'm going to open it and hopefully Lush employees will jump out. There'll be a fanfare and a sing-along and there might be some nice products inside. Let's have a look. So I'm gonna remove the sticker, ta-da! Okay, this is what it looks like inside. I'm gonna have a little route through and see what I find. So this is the first thing that I found. This is obviously what's inside of this box. So I'm actually not going to open this at the moment. I'm gonna keep it to the side. Okay, up next I have got one of these. It is, by the looks of things, a, well, it's a press release. That's what the box is for. It is for press. So in here it talks about the ladybird, the flowering tea, the sunrise soap and rose bombshell. Got a bit about yummy mummy shower cream, the sunflower bubble bar, which is cool. Uh, Flutterby, Tulip Reusable, uh, the Roller Bath Bomb. So that's really cool actually because with things like the Roller Bath Bomb, um, Flutterby, Tulip, Sunflower, to begin with, if you can't get to Oxford Street, you obviously can't get the products unless you know somebody. So for those of you who are doing press around the country, it's fantastic because you get to read about the products. It does mean, obviously, it teases you a little bit because you can't get the products, but uh, Rollable is coming out tomorrow in the kitchen, so those people will be able to grab those then. Bunch of carrots, fluffy egg, golden egg, somewhere over the rainbow, the bunny, spring bunny, which is a lush Oxford Street exclusive. The one that hasn't made an appearance yet and is annoying me, which is the Somewhere Over the Rainbow, which says, watch in wonder as a kaleidoscope of color, Sicilian Mandarin and uplifting Neroli fizz away in full technicolor glory. <sighs> Hurry up, Lush, I need it. I have the little tweets. This adorable chick with chocolate button eyes is bursting of bubbles and the sweet fragrance of tangerine oil for an uplifting bath filled of springtime excitement. It's easily my favorite one so far. And one thing I just noticed while flicking at the back, the only thing in this book that I've not heard of or not seen yet is on the back here, a Lush Kitchen exclusive. This is called the new Tweet Tweet gift set. So I'm looking out for this. It's a little gift set called Tweet Tweet. And inside it features a golden egg bath bomb and a Tweet bubble bar. That is awesome. So that is actually coming to the kitchen. I don't know if it's an exclusive piece of news I've just leaked to the world, but if it is, excellent. If not, look out for that. I will be buying one of them, they're really cute. And now, it's on to the products. I already know one of the products in here because I can smell it on the press release. And I'm really excited because I haven't actually bought one of those this year. Mm, might give you a clue. Now straight away in here, 
I am so chuffed because I love these two pieces. We have the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb. Now when the Rose Bombshell Bath Bomb first came out, I was a little bit torn about how I felt about it. On the one hand, I love the Rose Argan scent, the Rose Jam scent, and this really has it. It's fantastic, it's so strong. If you love Rose, you'll love it. It's really colorful in the bath. But I was still torn, as I said on a previous video, about the fact that last year's Rose Bombshell was completely different. And I feel almost like Lush have done a slight disservice to this one because although this is fantastic, they perhaps shouldn't have named it the same name because it's different. It was just a cream um, bath bomb with a little um, rose on top. It was a slow fizzer, it was a quiet fizzer, it wasn't very colorful, it was really moisturizing. This one is the complete opposite. It's so different to the original release and I'm a bit confused by why Lush have named it the same name. I sort of feel like this product has been given a little bit of a disservice. You know, I'm not complaining, it's still a great product. I don't really care so much about the name, but it would have been nice perhaps if this had been given a fresh lease of life and been released as a new product because it isn't comparable to last year's product at all. Ah, this is the product that absolutely stinks. This is the Flowering Tea Reusable Bubble Bar. So this little product started out as an exclusive to Oxford Street last year when they first opened. It has come in the kitchen a few times. Um, I think it's a love or hate one. Although I just said that and I realized that I don't love it and I don't hate it either. It's, I'm somewhere in between with this one. I love the fact inside it is just full of beautiful purple flowers. And it's so unique in its scent, it's so different. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this product because I have reviewed it before and I have spoken about it before. If you don't enjoy flowery smells, you will probably dislike this. I kind of feel like I've been hypnotized by this product. That is the Flowering Tea Reusable Bubble Bar. The controversial one. This is the Bouncy Bunny Shower Jelly. Now I've got quite a bit of slack for this because people are telling me I was very harsh on my review and I might put people off when actually it's an amazing product. For me, the only disappointment with this one here was the fact that it wasn't very strong in the shower. Moisturizing, it's sublime, it's amazing. Visually, it's fantastic. I love the smell, I love orange. Orange and blackcurrant are my two favorite scents. It smells lovely in the pot, it doesn't smell particularly strong, but in the shower, I just found that the scent was very, very weak, and that was my main problem. People have said to me, if you go through and you use up the cream side of things and get on to the orange part of the bunny, it's actually a lot stronger. And what I've noticed about this one, I don't know if it's intentional, but this one here, seems to have an awful lot of orange. It definitely is stronger on the orange part. And when I look at the pictures, or the press pictures of the bunny, I don't understand why the ones that we're getting seem to be mostly this sort of beigey peachy color with a little bit of orange, when the pictures show mostly orange with a little bit of beige. I don't know whether in production stages they made a decision that perhaps wasn't the best idea. I don't know. But that is the Bouncy Bunny. Buy it if you want, don't buy it if you don't want. I feel like I want to wipe my hands on my shirt, but it's a brand new shirt, so I better not. Perhaps I should have left that to last. Next product in my box is a really lovely piece, Somewhere Over the Rainbow Soap. And I don't know whether the scent has somewhat strengthened since last year, but it's a really, it is a nice smell, I like it. It seems to be stronger than last year. Last year I remember buying a piece, being amazed at how beautiful it was, thinking it's one of the most beautiful, colourful, interesting pieces of soap I've ever seen, only to find that just the smell did nothing for me, it was really weak. This one, it's not the greatest product smell in the world. It's sort of like a grassy, fruity smell. It's sort of a dry, grassy, sweet fruity smell. It does lather up really well. So I will update my review of this. And the last product to feature in the Lush Press Box is the Bunch of Carrots. These are definitely an improvement on last year, whether it was just the orange one. They share their scent with the Snowman Fun. 
they share their scent with the snowman shower jelly. They're lovely and colourful. You can use each bubble bar for one bath. So for the price of 6 25 I think they are, you could easily get three to six baths, depending on how generous you are with your bubble bars. You can either hold these under the tap and they will just produce lots of lovely bubbles. You might crumble them in your hands. I say this is quite a soured smell. It has carrot oil in them, which gives you that lovely sort of zesty grassiness. But there is also enough zesty citrusy oils in here to give it that sharp kick, which I absolutely love. So there we have my first official Lush Press box. I hope it's not the last one. Lush knows I'll give them press anyway, but I do hope it's not the last one. I'm so grateful, we're so excited to have this. I love the box, I love the design, I love the information inside about each product. There's such a range here. We have rose, we have floral, sweet, fruity, grassy, there's so much in this box. So I apologize that this video is fairly short for my standards, but I am hoping to have a second video up, perhaps towards the end of the week. Lush might have sent me this press box, but as you guys know, or if you don't know, because you've never watched one of my videos before, I am not endorsed by Lush, I am not paid by Lush, I am not speaking as a Lush employee, I am an independent reviewer, maybe not so objective towards the company because I do love them, but I try to give my honest opinion in everything, whether or not people agree or disagree. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I'm going to stop talking now because I'm going to go and have a bath with some of these amazing goodies. So if you've enjoyed my video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't, well, I apologize. Obviously I'm not for you. Uh, and I will speak to you very, very soon. Bye.